Welcome. Let's use property of trapezoids to find unknowns. Let's start by examining the figure here. The first thing that stands out is the notation. Notice that EB is congruent to EA and CF is congruent to FD. So that implies that E and F are midpoints. Then therefore, we can claim that EF is the medium of the trapezoid. Because EF is the medium of the trapezoid, then we have the following. Remember that this is a property of the medium of a trapezoid, which in this case, BC is my first base and AD is my second base. Now let's plug in what we know. EF is 50. BC is 4x minus 7. And AD is 6x plus 27. And now at this point, we can solve for x. Let's start by combining like terms. Then we have 50 equals 1 half 10x plus 20. Let's get rid of the 1 half. Let's multiply by 2. So now we have that 100 is equal to 10x plus 20. Let's take away 20. Let me flip the order so we can have that 10x is equal to 100. And the last thing that we got to do is divide by 10. Now let's take a look at a second example. Let's start by looking at the notation. Notice that BE is congruent to EA and CF is congruent to FD. And if that is the case, then E and F are midpoints. And therefore, we can conclude that EF is a median of the trapezoid. So we can use the same property as before, where EF is one half of the addition of the basis. And I guess I forgot to notate it here, but BC, it's a base, it is parallel to AD. And now that we have an equation, let's plug in what we know. EF is 6x minus 4. BC is 6x plus 8. And AD is 4x minus 4. So let's illustrate where all this comes from. EF is the medium. BC is the upper base. And AD is the lower base. And now at this point, it's just a matter of simplifying. Let's start by combining like terms. So we got 10x plus 4. Let's distribute that 1 half. 10 divided by 2 is 5x. And 10 divided by 2 is 2. Let's put all the x's on one side. And now we got that x minus 4 is equals to 2. Let's move the negative 4 to the right hand side. So now we can conclude that x has a value of 6. So notice that the strategy here is always to identify if we have a medium. And if we do, then we can apply the property of mediums. Let's take a look at an example that is a little more challenging. Let's start by understanding the situation. So here we have a big triangle. And the first thing that we notice is that the left hand side of this triangle, every single line segment is congruent to each other. Let's look at the notation. JI has one line, JK has one line, LG is one line, and the same can be said about the right hand side. IK congruent to KM congruent to MH. So let's consider that. Let's look at the givens. We know that JK has a length of 10. Let's put it on the diagram. And LM has an expression of x plus 8. Let's start by thinking about how we can find the value of x. One strategy that we can do 
is that we can notice that we have a triangle. Now, if we concentrate on that triangle, notice that JK is the medium of that triangle. And if that is the case, then we can apply properties of mediums, where we know that the medium is half the base. So let's plug in what we know. JK is 10, and LM is X8. And at this point, we can apply some algebra to solve for X. Let's continue by multiplying by 2. And let's subtract 8. So we have found the first objective. Now let's think about the second objective to find the length of GH. Now where is GH on the figure? Well, GH we can see it here as the base of this triangle. But also notice that GH is also the base of this big trapezoid that we have here. And if that is the case, then notice that LM is the medium of that trapezoid. Then we can apply properties of the trapezoid, where the medium is half the addition of the basis. Now let's plug in what we know. LM is x plus 8. JK is 10. And GH is the unknown. Don't forget that we know what x is. x is equivalent to 12. So therefore, we can substitute it in here. And now we have the following. Let's combine like terms on the left-hand side. So that will give us 20. Let's multiply by 2. And let's finish it up by subtracting 10. Now, let's take a look at an additional challenge question here. Let's look at challenge question number two. So we have the same scenario as the previous example, but we have a different objective. Now we want to find out the value for the length of ln and jk. And the only known is the base of this triangle, where this base has a value of 36. Let's approach the situation as we did before. Let's consider the triangle ILM. And if we do, then notice that JK is the medium of that triangle. And because it is the medium, then we have that is equivalent to half the length of the base. Let's put this information on the side. It's going to be useful later on. And as we did before, let's consider the trapezoid GHKJ. And within this trapezoid, notice that LM is the medium. And if this is the case, then now we can use properties of the mediums of the trapezoid where we have that the medium is half the addition of the upper and the lower base. Now let's start by plugging in what we know. We still do not know what LM is, so let's write it out as it is. But now notice that we have an expression for JK. JK, we can write it out as one half of LM. So let's do that. And GH, we know what it is. That has a value of 36. Let's continue by multiplying by 2. And let's subtract one half of LM. Now, 2 minus one half is the same as saying 2 minus 0 0.5, which is going to give us 1.5. Let's divide by 1.5. So we have a result. LM is 24. So now we know the first part of our problem. Now, how can we find the value of JK? Well, now that we know what's the value of LM, we have an expression here which we can use to find the value of JK because JK was one half of LM which we know that is 24. 
which is equivalent to 12. Hello, if you would like to continue to learn about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.